If you don't like insects, well, brace yourself, the cicadas are coming. Experts say two species of the noisy bugs will be emerging together for the first time since the 1800s. But what will that coemergence actually look like here in central Alabama? James Giles joins us now after talking with an Auburn University professor. And James, what can we expect here in our area? Well, Steve Auburn University professor and chair of department in animology and plant pathology, David Held, says trillions of cicadas will emerge across much of the U.S. for about a two-week period at the start of May. Now, Held says think about two high school graduating classes coming together at the same time, and that's exactly what's happening. The two broods of cicadas that will be emerging haven't co-emerged since Napoleon was alive. Good news for you if you're afraid of them, though. Alabama won't be hit as hard as other states. That's because our area will only see one of the broods, Brood 19, emerge according to Hilt, and he expects it will be like any other year. Birmingham, Auburn, and around Huntsville, and where the ground has been disturbed in the last 13 years, they're probably not going to see any cicadas because cicadas have been underground. If you've had construction and you remove the vegetation and the, the soil, you've disturbed them. We're done. We're going to have to wait another 13 years before we get any cicadas out of that soil. Held says if you live around the state or national parks, you might be out of luck and see a significant amount of cicadas. But there are unique ways to deal with them in places like New Orleans. They're preparing to eat them. Yep, that's right. Reportedly, restaurants there are taking advantage of the emergence of these trillion red eye bugs and slapping them on salads and other dishes, Steve.